Welcome to Jurassic Park for the Sega Genesis. One of the most popular Genesis releases of 93, Jurassic Park is a 2D action platformer based very loosely on the Steven Spielberg movie. You are able to play as either Dr. Grant or as a Velociraptor. Dr. Grant gets to use mostly non-lethal weapons like tranquilizer darts, gas and flash grenades, and a stun gun that looks strong enough to power a flex capacitor. Later on, he gets lethal rockets and grenades. The raptor just has claws and teeth, but she kills all enemies in just one hit. She is very fast and can jump really high. She can also eat cumpies to refill her health meter. The raptor levels are easily the best part of the game. The action buttons are completely customizable so you can select the configuration that best suits you. The controls alternate between being too stiff and too loose, which can easily cause you to fall off an edge or miss a jump. Another problem is that Grant will grab onto ledges that you don't want him to and automatically climb up. The graphics are good, but they are also very grainy. The dinosaurs look very close to their movie counterparts. The sprite for Dr. Grant is pretty small, but that works because it allows the environments and the dinosaurs to dwarf him. The environments themselves are only adequate. A lot of the backgrounds look grainy, and some of them lack detail. With the exception of the visitor center, there aren't any locations from the movie. The animation is very detailed. The raptors have more frames of animation just for getting up than money games have for all their main characters' moves. The people that did the character animations really did a great job on this game. The sounds that Dr. Grunt, or Dr. Grant, makes sound okay, but his grunts are used so often that it becomes annoying. The dinosaur vocals are the highlight in the sound department. Although the developers did not get to use the actual sounds from the movie, they did a good job imitating them, except for the raptor's main roar. That's not even close. Unfortunately, John Williams' score is not included. The new music for the game is alright, but not particularly memorable. Jurassic Park has three difficulty settings, but most of the time you will die not from the dinosaurs, but because you missed a jump. While playing on easy, I was almost never killed by an enemy. The higher difficulty levels seem to be exactly the same, except that your character loses more health when they get hurt. When you die, you have to start the level over from the beginning which is annoying, but the levels are short anyway. You do have unlimited number of lives, but you effectively have unlimited continues, since the game uses a password saving system. As Dr. Grant, you shoot dinosaurs by the dozens, and they, in turn, maul and eat you. As the raptor, you kill park workers. She has the justification that she is just a wild animal trying to survive, but the people you are killing are just some guys that work at the zoo. There isn't any blood or gore in the game, with the sole exception of a blood-spattered elevator door in the visitor center. It is actually pretty shocking to see since it is near the end of the game, and everything has been relatively tame prior to that. Although Jurassic Park for the Sega Genesis is hampered by some imprecise controls, it is still a worthwhile game to add to your collection if you are a big Jurassic Park fan.